Um, we are an ePhysics 601 design team. Uh, we were tasked with building a light board. Um, these devices are widely used in free lectures. Um, a professor will give a lecture on the whiteboard uh, so that he can show his face and the material and be more presentable to the student. Uh, again, this is used for free lectures, so once the video is recorded, uh, we will be able to flip the video, and we're actually going to demonstrate that here, how easy that is by taking a video and flipping it immediately afterwards. So we are the Lightboard team. Uh, we were sponsored by Dr. Fisher and Mr. Rinner of CODL. We were given a budget to accommodate for all the parts and pieces. Um, we were able to follow instructions from Duke University. Uh, we started with their template. Now, what they had didn't include every piece that we see here. Um, they started with just the frame and some legs. Um, we decided to go along with their part order, and we took that and we converted it into this subframe system. So we have our frame, and we have these U channels on each side to hold the glass and make it more sturdy. Um, these U channels were uh, machined in collaboration with Alan. Uh, I don't know if you can see them, but here we have glass, a rubber lining, and LEDs all along each U channel. Now, when the LEDs shine through the glass, They cause total internal reflection all throughout. When anything is pressed up against the glass, uh, say some marker piece, then the light comes in, hits the surface, disrupts the internal reflection, and actually sends the light out. And so the reason that this red marker appears a brighter fluorescent is because the light is interacting with the marker on the surface of the glass. Um, this is believed to be better because uh, you can see the marker better and it's uh, more presentable to students. Um, so what you see before you is the culmination of our project. Thanks. Mm -hmm.